Hello and welcome to a special edition of My Bolt EUV. I'm Jim and we're going from point A to point B. Climb in, let's go. Today we're going to talk about the future of the Bolt and the future of EVs in general. The future is bright and what's the future going to look like? Well, here we go. Well, how can there be a future for the Bolt when the Bolt has been discontinued, you may ask? Well, I can tell you, here's why. This past week, General Motors announced that it will embrace and use the Tesla NACS charging system, giving all General Motors vehicles the access to the existing Tesla supercharger network, and that includes the Bolt. As I predicted just a few weeks ago, after Ford embraced the NACS standard, I said GM will follow suit. I didn't expect it less than a month later, but here we are. And what does this mean? All General Motors vehicles can use the Tesla network starting in 2024 with an adapter. GM will provide that adapter early next year. I don't know what the cost will be, but there will be a cost. I don't even know what it's going to look like. I just know that it will happen. And then starting in the 2025 year models, all General Motors vehicles will come with the Tesla receptacle, period. They will be able to use other EV charging networks that have the Tesla style plug, or they will be able to procure the Tesla to CCS adapter that are available today already on Amazon for 150 bucks or less. Take a look at the current Tesla network and compare it to the Electrify America network. Station density is almost two to one. And that's significant, folks. The NACS adapter is half the size and can deliver twice the power. Take a look at the pictures I'm providing here for comparison. This is beneficial to everyone because, number one, it makes it easier to charge a vehicle, especially for the elderly and those with physical disabilities. If you've never handled a CCS fast charge adapter, you don't know how hard it is, but it is very difficult. Secondly, it's safer. The safety protocols means there will never be arcing between your vehicle and the charging plug. And finally, third, twice the power. The NACS design can deliver a full megawatt of power, while the current CCS design can only deliver about 500 kilowatts. And the planned future for CCS is only able to deliver 800 kilowatts, so Right out the gate, NACS is better. Now that almost 10% of all new vehicle sales include EVs, I think it's time for us to address the charging stations themselves. The current charging stations are very limited. They don't allow for trucks towing trailers. That's the number one problem. And if you know anything about America, we love our big pickup trucks and we like to tow stuff. The truck is still the most popular vehicle in terms of overall sales. So we need to make allocations at future charging stations for trucks towing trailers. It really is that simple. And then every gas station in America also has covers. It's a no-brainer to add covers to EV charging sites. And then cover the covers with solar cells. That's a duh. Let's get this done, folks. I would also like to talk about Bolt ownership. I have almost 10,000 miles on my new Bolt already. I drive it like there's no tomorrow. And this new Bolt is performing flawlessly. No issues at all. But it all started back in 2019 when I bought a used 2017 Bolt. And I kept it for three and a half years. And let me tell you, to be honest, when the GM recall started for the Bolt Fire thing back in 2000. 20, I was angry. But then General Motors stepped up and made the battery swap happen. General Motors did the right thing. They fixed the problem. No band-aids. It was a full battery replacement. And with that, they earned my business for life. And now they're on the cutting edge of EV trends. They've embraced NACS. They are leading 
the legacy automakers into the future with the all-electric vehicle, and they've promised to make their entire fleet EVs by 2030. This is significant, folks. I just want to address a few other issues today. I drive quite a few miles up and down I-4 every week, and invariably, I'm cut off in traffic by people in other vehicles, gas-powered vehicles primarily, who think that it's their personal raceway. And they like to cut in front of EVs, most especially, and try to make you lose control. In addition to that, these big jacked up diesel pickup trucks like to get in front of you and roll coal. In both cases, these people are childish and immature and do not deserve the driver's licenses they have in their pockets. And that kind of continued insane behavior is going to get somebody killed. And so I would appreciate it if you know people that drive like that and hate EVs, that you remind them that the road belongs to everybody, not just them. And they don't have the right to act like a child on the road. And if they're going to continue to do that, there will be repercussions in the future. I can guarantee you of that. Please do subscribe, share, comment, and like, and ring the notification bell if you want to know when future videos are uploaded. I do read all comments, and I try to reply to all of them. I may not always be, be able to, but I do read everything that's said. Also remember, as I've said a thousand times before, treat everyone with kindness, put a smile on your face, help someone today, and pay it forward when somebody does the same. Again, thank you for stopping by. I'll see you soon or somewhere along the route from point A to point B. Until then, this is Jim signing off.